Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five favorite fall eyeshadow palettes and I've chosen palettes that I reach for the most and they are I think the highest quality eyeshadow palettes and the most suitable colors for the fall season in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to try and give you swatches in natural light of all of the eyeshadow palettes and these are my absolute favorites. So starting with the first one which I think is a big surprise for me because I'm a Chanel lover and this is an eyeshadow palette that I keep mentioning a lot in my videos, but I really think it's exceptional. And every time when I use it, I get a lot of compliments from you guys because I don't go out really. We are in lockdown right now, so I'm not going out, but I'm getting a lot of compliments from you when I create a look using this palette. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize eyeshadow palette. I really like, I'm quite new to Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows and I don't have that many eyeshadow palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, but the ones that I have, I have to say that I'm quite um, happy with the quality of her eyeshadows because they are pigmented and somehow she, somehow she is choosing the right colors and specifically this eyeshadow palette. Now this is the only big eyeshadow palette that I have from Charlotte Tilbury and specifically all of the colors that she has chosen in this eyeshadow palette suit my skin tone very well and I think that this eyeshadow palette looks good on variety of different skin tones. So the colors that I most often reach for are these six colors right here. I think they are all very beautiful. I think the quality is excellent. And actually today I'm wearing this eyeshadow palette on my eyes. I really enjoy all of the colors here. There is not a single shade that I wouldn't use, to be honest, but I'm mostly attracted to the Love Glow and the Dream Glow. And I like to mix the Love Glow and Dream Glow together. So I know that for those of you who have a lot of eyeshadow palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, probably this is not going to be worth purchasing, but I just like the colors. So in terms of quality, the eyeshadows are not as soft and as pigmented as some of her recent um, eyeshadow quads. But as I said, I don't have that many eyeshadow palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, but the ones that I have are the quads and these colors are not as highly pigmented and as creamy and as buttery as her quads but still I absolutely love it. I think that the colors have just the right amount of pigmentation to create beautiful look. You have matte colors, metallics and shimmery colors which is great for layering. What I love about this palette is that the colors work very well together and you can layer the colors and create different effects. So this is something that I really appreciate about this eyeshadow palette. I think that in terms of quality and the price, it's excellent and I think it's going to suit a lot of skin tones. So the colors that I'm most attracted to is this color, I use it very often, this color in, and let me go ahead, these two colors also. I'm going to show them to you because I think these are my absolute favorites from this eyeshadow palette and these are the colors that really stand out to me. So I'm gonna swatch them here. And some of the colors in this palette almost look like cream eyeshadows. They are so pigmented, so beautiful. Sometimes I can just use one shade and apply some mascara and the look that I, the look is absolutely gorgeous. And you can apply them with brushes, with fingers. Moving on to number two. And number two for me is the new Tom Ford eyeshadow palette in Mercurial. And this is the extreme and this is the Extreme Formula from Tom Ford. Now I have a full review of this eyeshadow palette and I think it's very interesting and I think it's very suitable for the season. I really like it and I think that this is just a beautiful combination of Nude Dip, the top two shades, and Honeymoon, the bottom two shades. So you have the option to create a very nude, very neutral look using only the top two shades and then you have also the possibility to spice it up a little bit and to create and to use this gorgeous reddish color. I compared already this eyeshadow palette to Nude Dip and Honeymoon. So the one shade that I absolutely love is this one. This is like a pink champagne color. It is so beautiful. And then I really like this reddish color here. I think they are 
absolutely amazing. So, actually, since these are only four colors, I'm gonna swatch them all. Right here on my fingers, I'm also going to show them to you in natural light. Next, moving on to one of my recent purchases, and this is from Chanel, and this is the eyeshadow quad in Quiet Revolution. And I've been showing this eyeshadow quad. I created a look using this eyeshadow quad, and I think that the colors were... This was actually a surprise to me because I picked this eyeshadow palette thinking that this is going to be out of my comfort zone eyeshadow palette and I was thinking that I was not going to be using it a lot. I just I just decided to pick this eyeshadow palette because a lot of you were interested to see some out of my comfort zone looks so that's why I picked this eyeshadow palette and it ended up being my favorite eyeshadow palette for the fall season. I have been using it so much. I'm not a huge fan of blue eyeshadows to be honest but this one looks so beautiful and so flattering on my eyes. I think that these colors are going to be suitable for different skin tones and especially if you have brown eyes. I think this eyeshadow palette and these colors are going to look a lot more beautiful if you have brown eyes because usually blue eyeshadows they look very beautiful on brown eyes on hazel eyes on dark eyes blue eyeshadows look very very beautiful but it looks beautiful even on me next i'm moving on to an old eyeshadow palette from chanel and this is the last year's holiday makeup collection from chanel and this is the eyeshadow palette um what was it this is 342 lumiere et opulence and these colors are gorgeous. These colors, I think, are very suitable for the fall season because you have that vintage gold, you have that green with a little bit of gold, you have the beige color, you have the brown color. Basically, if you like neutral looks, you can create a lot of neutral looks using this eyeshadow palette. And if you want to spice it up a little bit, I think that the vintage gold colors here are very beautiful with the combination of a little bit of green. And this makes this eyeshadow palette very interesting. Now, these colors are quite similar to this year's Dior Holiday palette. And I already compared these two palettes when I was reviewing the Dior Holiday makeup collection. Again, I'm going to have a link to that video in the description box in case you want to see how these two eyeshadow palettes compare. But what I find with use is that, that the Chanel eyeshadow palette, actually the quality is a little bit better than the Dior eyeshadow palette. I don't have issues and I actually like this Dior palette, but a lot of you complained that the colors are very, few very dry. Now, to me, honestly, my palette is just fine. For example, these two, the bottom two colors are absolutely fine. They feel very nice and they are of a very high quality. And these two colors, I would say they are more like topper shades, so they have little shimmers and that's what probably bothers a lot of people, that the top two shades are almost like toppers. Let me actually swatch them. So the top two shades are almost like toppers. They are very shimmery, but they don't have full coverage. So if you're used to having pigmented eyeshadows with full coverage, this is why you might not like this eyeshadow palette, because the colors are actually shimmery. They create a lot of luminosity and they are very shimmery, especially in the sun, especially in natural light, in the sun or in the evening. For example, if you use them on top of eyeshadows, on top of other eyeshadows and they are very good for layering because they're going to add that really shimmery veil on your eyelids. Some people just don't like that, some people just don't appreciate that, some people prefer to have that really pigmented and kind of more soft pigmented eyeshadows like the Charlotte Tilbury formulations or like the Pat McGrath formulations. This has just a different formulation, but the Chanel palette is absolutely gorgeous. I still like it. And now seeing the Dior palette from this year, I appreciate this one even more. And last but certainly not least comes the Tom Ford Honeymoon palette, which is one of my all-time favorite palettes for the fall season. I always come back to this eyeshadow palette in the fall season. I think that this is one of the highest quality Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes because the colors are so creamy and so beautifully, like, check out these colors. This palette is so beautiful. And even though this palette doesn't have a matte shade, I think that anyone can use it. Um, and I think that you can create a lot of different looks using this 
eyeshadow palette even though there is not a matte color the deepest brown shade here is almost matte it is it has sheen it has shimmer but it's not the kind of shimmer that is going to emphasize fine lines or it's not the kind of it is a very sophisticated sheen so i really like this palette i really appreciate it every fall and the colors so let me just show you here are swatches and the colors are so creamy i feel like this is one of the eyeshadow palettes from Tom Ford that have the highest quality because the eyeshadows are very soft, the colors blend very beautifully, they perform almost like cream eyeshadows, you can use only one color on the eyelid and you're good to go, they blend beautifully and I just love this eyeshadow palette. So these were my top five favorite full eyeshadow palettes, I hope you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorite full eyeshadow palettes and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.